Yo, what's going on guys? It's um uh, it's Onyx here and we today got the NHL 22 World of Gel deep dive on the NHL YouTube channel and I got to say I was actually pleasantly surprised with a lot of the stuff I saw today and I'm um, uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it and we're going to break it down and we'll talk about it. First of all, I wanted to say right now if I I sound sick because I am really sick right now. I have a horrible sinus infection. I'm I I'm ill I my I just I just I'm really sick right now guys. It's not COVID, thankfully. I'm fully vaccinated, so thank ho oh, it's not COVID, hopefully. If it gets worse, maybe I don't know. But I am pretty sick right now, but I still wanted to talk to y'all about this. So yeah, we're let's we're gonna get right into it. So we found out that they're gonna release they're gonna be doing deep dives on the gameplay. In September and then early October we'll get a franchise mode and it'll be a pro and other things like that but they first talked about in in the um uh, the breakdown was the um uh, the new menu and I actually really like really like the new menus and how everything looks with the menus I feel like the workflow for the menus looks really good you're able to navigate it very well I like the it looks aesthetically pleasing the you, you're a guy skating on the actual ice it looks very aesthetically pleasing and it's just the workflow they've made it to where now in lobbies you can go between modes without having to exit lobbies which is going to save so 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 much time so yeah i really i'm really happy with the way they they set up they set up the menus and how it looks it's really exciting that they're making life a little bit easier for us in terms of how the workflow is with the menus and how certain stuff is but yeah, so that was, that was the first thing I talked about. Now we're going to get into the second thing they talked about, which was the new customization system. Alright, so the main thing they focused on in this video was the new customization system with custom builds. Now I am kind, they kind of screwed us over because it's not completely custom builds. They kind of lied to us. It's not like the original uh, old gen where you could like make completely custom attributes. But the way they set it up, I actually think is a good. So you have the superstar X Factor abilities, and you have like uh, your other two abilities, and then you have like some traits that boost certain stats. So they 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 have set it up to where you can basically, if there's certain things you want to upgrade, you can get those stats specifically upgraded. And I really like the way they've did it because they like they kind of made it more like NBA 2K. Now it's like where you can upgrade certain stats, but it decreases certain stats. Like you can choose what specific stats to upgrade in each category like shooting puck skills uh defense so if you upgrade like your shot it's going to decrease like something else and you have like five points per category so i like the um, um the way they set it up i think some of the superstar x factor traits are pretty cool you have there's a lot of unique ones i think that are going to help the game out a lot i think the the deflection one's going to be really cool especially seeing all the new tip animations this year now i want to point out the builds they did show in this video were like probably ea scripted builds because nobody would use any of these builds they were really ass nobody would choose these traits and stuff but yeah no i think the system this year where you get three you get your main superstar x factor you get three superstar x factor abilities and then you get two things to boost certain stats i really like the way they they did that and i think it's i'm i'm not completely sure on this but i think it's probably going to be very similar and be a pro to where you get to unlock these so yeah no i i'm very happy with the way the essential thing they announced that the beta is coming out tomorrow it's a it's coming out i think about one o'clock it's private beta it's closed but i'm i signed up for the beta so i'm gonna be able to play it and i will give y'all my thoughts and opinions after a week of playing the beta because it lasts for about a week so I'm definitely going to play the beta and I'm going to give you all my honest opinions on what I think of the game and how it plays and everything. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. They really, they really, they didn't really have to make this 27 minutes. They spent a lot of time just showing off builds and stuff, but really it's just the new customization they spent a lot of time on, the new menus, but they said I, the only thing I didn't like was the club finals is still staying the way it is. They just made it shorter, but they still, it's still that same ass format. <coughs> Excuse me. So that does kind of suck but yeah guys i just want to get a quick video out talking about the trailer what i thought about it but i'm sick right now guys so i'm gonna head out and yeah you guys stay well um football football nfl season is right around the corner so 
hope everyone gets to watch their teams play this year. I hope everyone has a good season with their teams and as a fan. And hope everyone doesn't go crazy. But yeah, boys, I thought the trailer was good. I'm excited for the customization. Beta comes out tomorrow. I'm going to be playing it all week. I'll probably have a video out next week after I play the beta for a little bit. I'll give you my honest thoughts and opinions. My drop of just some funny moments videos playing with my friends on some other games until we get to NHL 22. Other than that, guys, I appreciate the support and everything. Um, I'm going to probably go to the doctor. So I will, um, uh, yeah, I will um, uh, talk to y'all later. If you, uh, if you have any comments or things, like, let me know in the comments what you thought about the trailer, what you're looking forward to, and things you want to see in the other game modes. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.